hello guys i know you must have been seeing this dress many places but you don't really know how to make it so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you step by step on how to make this dress it is not your regular kind of dress as you can see the armhole there is no armhole on it is going the sleeve is going directly to the neck so it is actually called a raglan sleeve so guys i want you to make sure you like this video it's very important because when you like this video you can be able to see the part two on how to sew it so make sure you like it and guys i want to make sure you watch it to the end and make sure you subscribe to this my channel because it's very very important now look at it look at the practical i did for my student so guys thank you and may god bless you so keep watching okay so as you guys can see what we have today is we are we are constructing a regular sleeve dress please i want you to know that this dress we are about constructing now the only difference is just you know in the construction of the sleeve itself it's just the same thing as your normal basic bodies you understand what i mean like the normal way you draft your um straight up blouse you understand your normal way you put all your measurements is just the same thing. So we have our measurement here. We have the shoulder measurement. Now, by me looking at this shoulder measurement, I know most of us will be like, ah, shoulder measurement is 25, it's too long. No, that's not it. Hope I've shown us how I got this. I got this measurement from the middle part of the neck down to where you want the sleeve to stop. Okay, let me show us physically. Now, how I measure for this sleeve, please, I just want everybody to see this, though, even those that we are not here. Look at it from the middle part of your neck. Are you seeing it? Measure like this. Are you seeing it? Then get. So what we got was 25 inches. Are you seeing it? So that's how I got this. So for you to fold, all you have to do, fold your material into two. Make sure it is equal to 25 or 2 inches and Do you understand? Depending on whatever thing you get. If you're making a short sleeve, it's just the same thing. Do you understand? Okay. Now, as you guys can see, I'll be making this of pattern paper. So that means it's not necessary for me to fold my material into folding into is more like wasting my pattern paper. I hope you guys understand. Yes. But if you're making use of fabric, you must fold into it. Now in this case you must fold to it seven inches. That is 25 plus two inches okay. extra allowance, semi allowance. Do you guys understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is for the front and this is for the back. So if you look at the measurement here, you will see that this is more than 25, 27. Do you understand? So we are good to go. So another thing you still need to consider when folding is the length of the dress. Now the length of the dress we have is how many? 20, 24 inches. But okay, 24 inches plus extra two inches allowance, making it up to 26. So by me looking at this, we have more than 20. So that means what we have here is okay. We are good to go. Are you seeing it? Okay, so let's start drafting. Let's start with the front. So we have to keep this one aside so that our marker will not stay it. So in order for us to start, first of all, we need to mark out our vertical measurements. Hope you guys know what vertical measurements are. Vertical measurements are measurements from the shoulder to the nipple point, that is the bust point, from the shoulder to the under bust, from the shoulder to the half length, from the shoulder to the blouse length, and the extra allowance. Do you understand? So that's what we are going to be marking out now. Okay, let's start. From shoulder to the bust point, which is nine inches, make sure you mark it out into two. Are you seeing it? In order to get a straight line. Okay, now look at it, guys. Are you seeing it? So now, as you can see, I'm trying to make sure I place them equally. Now, that is the essence of marking out into two places. Because if you don't do it like this, you might mistakenly keep your rule like this. Are you seeing it? And get a diagonal line, which is not what you're supposed to get. Okay, so do the same thing on other measurements. Okay, let's continue. Then the underboss measurement, as you guys can see, is how many? 12. Now, I know some of us that must have learned from me will be like, didn't I add extra allowance for the shoulder joining? But that's what some of you will say. Okay. Now, you can actually do that. I've taught you guys how to make a basic body. Do you understand? You can add your extra half inch allowance before you start reeling out all this thing. But I just want to let you guys know something. This is not compulsory on dresses that are not bustiers. Do you understand? Dresses that are bustiers means that if you miss any measurement and shorten it, the, the cup of the bust will not sit where you're supposed to sit. Rather, it will go up and start hitting your boss. Do you understand? But if you do it on your normal shirt and miss, even if it's half inch or one inch, will anybody notice it? No. Nobody will notice it. Rather, the length of the shirt will shut up, which is not that obvious. Do you understand? So that's why I did not bother trying to mark out half inch already. So next thing we are going to be doing now, let's mark out the, the blouse hip, which is 24. Are you seeing it? Plus, two inches allowance. Please make sure you also mark it out into two. Use your rule and connect, guys. Okay, guys, so now what we have here, look at this point. Well, this is the shoulder length. Are you seeing it? This is the bust length, okay? 
Now this is the underboss length. Are you saying it? Okay. Now this is the blouse length, and this is the allowance. Are you saying it? So even if you still want to uh, impute your waist, do you understand? You can actually do that. But there's something I really want you guys to know. See, when we are imputing waist, it is okay to impute your waist. But there's one secret. Whenever you're imputing waist, make sure your measurement is very correct. Make sure your measurement. If your measurement is not correct, that your waist you impute will ruin the whole shape of the dress. To ruin it. So if you think your measurement is not that too correct, better skip the waist. So next thing we are going to be doing now is uh let's construct the armhole. Do you understand? But before we control the armhole, you need to mark out the shoulder. So in this case, our normal shoulder measurement is 14. Do you guys understand? Yeah. 14 inches. So 14 divided by 2 is what? Seven. Seven. So mark let's mark out seven inches allowance. Seven. Are you seeing it? Also, do the same thing from here to here. Mark out seven. seven. Why, why am I doing this? To get a straight line. Now guys, look at it. Okay, just rule it. You can stop from you can stop on the boss line. Do you guys understand? Okay. So next thing I'm going to be doing, I remember I said we are going to be constructing the ammo, but we need to first mark out the shoulder. And we also need to slant. Slant the shoulder. You guys know that shoulder used to be slanted. Because there's nobody here that has a straight shoulder like you hardly see people like that. Every shoulder is slanted from the neck. Do you understand? Remember what I said? From the neck. From the neck. Okay, now if everybody's shoulder is slanted from the neck, there's what we call the um, standard neck width. Standard neck width is actually the width of the neck. Are you seeing it? Your standard neck width, which in this case we are going to be using how many? We normally use 3 inches. But because we are making a total neck, let's reduce it to 2.5. Do you guys understand? Okay, so let's use 2.5 from here. Please, I want you to know here we've marked standard neck width. It is not it does not necessarily mean that that is where your neck width will start. Your original neck width that that will appear on the clothes when you are finished sewing it. This standard neck width is mostly for the slanting of the shoulder. Do you understand? Slanting of the shoulder. But in this case, this is a total neck. I think our original uh, neck width is still 2.5 inches. Do you understand? So it's more like a coincidence. Okay. So when you are done marking out this, next thing you need to do is to get your shoulder slant uh, measurement. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You guys know, for you to slant it, you don't have to leave it straight. You have to really go down with something. One. Are you seeing it? Now, for a female, we are going down with how many? Yeah. One. Are you seeing it? Now, as so you are connecting, there's something I really want you guys to know. Please remember, remember, your, what is it called? Mm -hmm. The total sleeve length, that is from the middle part of the shoulder, you need to really identify it. Do you understand? Mark it out, 25 plus, Two. Are you seeing it? Okay, do the same thing here. I'm going to be connecting it. Okay, 25 plus 2. Let me check whether this one is correct. Okay, so next thing you need to do is to connect. Connect both of them. Do you understand? Okay, so let's connect, guys. Now, take it down today. Are you seeing it? As you guys can see, we have connected it. There's something I want you to know. Hmm? This thing we have connected now is not really exactly for the kind of dress we are making. Like, our own it has a longer sleeve. So whenever you are making short sleeve, yeah, use this method. Take your one inch from here. Are you seeing it? But whenever you are making long sleeve, as long as this, hmm? please take it from here. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Remember what that is, when you're making a long short sleeve, like a sleeve down from here, are yeah, you seeing it? Like up to eight inches from the shoulder, use this method. But whenever you are making a long sleeve, do you understand? Or uh, the kind of one we are making, now make sure you use this particular one. Do you understand? Now look at it, guys. From here, mark out how many? One. Okay. Now, why are we doing? Why are, you, why are we using this method? We are using it so that it's not consume much of our allowance for the sleep. Do you understand? Okay. So let's connect. Let's connect. Let's start from here also and connect back. Okay. As you guys can see, we have connected. So in order for us not to confuse ourselves, please, I'm using this red marker to cancel. Are you seeing it? This is not actually included in our work. Please, I want you guys to know that. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So now we are done. Next thing we are going to be doing now is let's just uh, let's just mark out the armhole, the armhole from here. 
Do you guys understand? Yeah. Let's mark it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the shoulder is seven. Are you seeing it? Shoulder is how many? Seven. seven. Now look at it, guys. Seven. Are you seeing it? Okay, seven. But are we just going to stop at seven? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Uh -huh. We are going to add how many? Uh -huh. Half. If you say half inch, half inch is okay. Do you understand? But remember the kind of dress I'm making, I just want it to be free. Very free. Do you understand? So I'll be adding extra one inch. So what does that mean? As you can see, adding extra one inch has made it to be exactly on the boss line. Please, I want you to know, this will not be the same for everybody. Some persons own, like if you have a bigger boss, it can never come to your boss line. It's because this lady has a small boss. So let's say in a situation, please, I want you to understand this thing. Let's say in a situation, your stops at this point. Are you seeing it? All you have to do is to draw a horizontal line. If your own stops before the uh, boss line, are you seeing it? Please use your hand and draw a horizontal line on that point. Do you understand? Draw a horizontal line. Let me use this and identify you. Are you seeing it? Draw a horizontal line. That's what I want you to do. But because this, my own, is resting on the boss line. So there's a horizontal line here already. Yeah. Do you understand? So there's no need drawing extra. So in order for us to construct our armhole, you guys already know the secret now. Diagonally mark out one inch from this point. Are you seeing it? Okay, then also next thing you need to do is get the midpoint of from here to here, which as you can see this is eight. Midpoint is how many? Four. Are you seeing it? So use your curve or free hand and they connect like this. I'm not positioning very well. I just want are you seeing it? Okay. Just stop it this way. Let me mark out the, the neck before we continue. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So in order to mark out the neck, the width, like I said, we are going to be using is 2.5. Are you seeing it? So take a rule and get a straight line. That is the 2.5. OK, 2.5. Are you seeing it? Now, because it's a total neck, please, the neck shouldn't be deep. The front neck shouldn't be what? Deep. Do you understand? OK. Front neck should be like how many? Hmm? How many? Like three inches. Look at it. Are you seeing it? Now, what I mean by this range, in a situation where when you finish sewing is not enough, you can retrain. Do you understand? But don't use anything less, more than three inches. So as for you not to, at the end of the day, have SS. Do you understand? Okay. Are you guys seeing it? Okay. So now, do the same thing. Diagonally mark out how many? One. Then, from here, get to your curve. Do you guys understand? Okay, so we have done the neck. So now, next thing we are about doing now, look at this thing, guys. Let's impute the horizontal measurement. Do you understand? So in order for you, for us to impute the horizontal measurement, the horizontal measurements are the circumference. Do you understand? Like the round bust. Now, in this case, now, the circumference of the bust is 34. 34 divided by 4 is 8 and a half. Add your extra 2 inches allowance. Are you saying it? So the under bust, which is 30, that is 7 points. Five. Give the extra two inches allowance. Okay. So the blouse width, which is 36, is how many? That mm -hmm. is divided by four is nine. nine. Are you seeing it? Then give the extra two inches allowance. So as you guys can see, you have to do what? Connect. For those that don't know how to use the uh, free hand, you can also make use of your rule to connect. Okay, now look at it. Then let's get a curve. You, you guys know this bottom side curve yeah. we usually have. So it's very simple for you to get it. For us to curve it, you just need to get the midpoint. Are you seeing it? Get the midpoint from here to here. As you can see, what we have is absolutely approximately um, 11. I mean, the middle part of 11 is 5 and a half. Are you seeing? The another thing you need to ask yourself is like, how do you want the curve to be? You guys know that whenever you're making some dress, look. Some curves, I'm coming. Some curves are like this. Are you seeing it? Like this. Some curves, like it, some can curve more. Do you understand? Why some can have less curve? So it depends on what you want. So whatever thing you want, as you can see, uh, from this my um, allowance, I'm measuring two inches. So that means I'll be connecting this one down to here. Are you seeing it? From here to here. Look at it with a curve, connect to the midpoint. Are you seeing it? At the end of the day, we have gotten the curve. Are you seeing it? Okay. So now, talking about that, please, it's your choice. If the dress you're making, 
needs to have a DAT. Put A, that. Do you understand? It's not compulsory for every dress to have a DAT. This particular one I'm making is kind of a free dress, so it doesn't actually need A. Now, the next thing we are about doing now is to apply the raglan sleeve effect. You understand what I mean? Apply the what? The raglan sleeve effect. Okay, so in order for us to do that, I want you guys to see something. When you have, please, it depends on the kind of neck you have. I mean, as you can see, this particular one, the highest we have for the depth is how many? Three inches. Are you seeing it? So now look at it. I can choose to use from one inch to two inches. Do you understand? I mean, where the is going to start, the regular sleeve effect is going to start. Are you seeing it? So for the sake of this particular tutorial, I'm going to start from 1.5 inch. Are you seeing it? Look at it from front. Are you seeing it? From 1.5. So now from this 1.5, connect. See how we are going to connect it. I know most of you will be surprised. You might be thinking I'm going to connect it directly to here. But I'm not. Look at it. I'm going to connect it and making sure my roof is crossing this side. Are you seeing it? Now look. Look. Look very well. Are you seeing it? Look. Are you seeing it? So we're passing through this one. This one. Then down to here. So that actually, what does what did it do? That actually extended our armhole length down to this side. Now, do you guys know why I did not try to connect? If I connect it from here, look at what will happen. Are you seeing the armhole? It's going to take more of our armhole. Yeah. Are you seeing it? So in order to avoid that, use this as your guide. From here, from under here, are you seeing? Just drop to wherever it stops here. Are you seeing it? Okay. So let's get to the sleeve. So now, in order for us to um, get the round sleeve, like I have said already, this is not like your regular clothes that the round sleeve is, you measure it on your body. This particular one, we are going to be putting elastic. Do you understand? So, since we are going to be putting elastic, we are going to be, use, be using a particular figure. We are going to be using, see, just depending how big you want the damper to be, the one you want to gather, or however you want to sew it. Do you understand? But for the sake of this tutorial, what we are using is how many? 16 inches. Are you seeing it? 16 inches. Now look at it. From this 16, please make sure you connect it down to here. Are you seeing it? Connect it down to here. Okay. Are you guys seeing it? So what am I even trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you guys that, you know, most cases people are doing regular sleeves, regular sleeves, but I hardly see regular sleeves with this kind of sleeves there. I hardly see them. I just usually see with normal sleeves, you know. Okay. But why I use this sleeve is because I, for me, I think regular sleeves is very simple. So I want to make it more of a bigger course. Do you understand? So that's why I'm making use this type of sleeve. Okay. So what next are we going to do? Look at it. We are going to be adding some effects here. Okay, so let's measure from here to here. What do you have from here to here? Say you have 10 inches. Say you have 10 inches. Okay, look at it. From this 10 inches, let's take it as the midpoint. Are you seeing it? So from here, we are going to step out by what? Or step in whichever, by half. We are going to step with also what here? Half. So at the end of the day, look at how this thing is going to be. Are you seeing it? Look at how this one is going to be. This is a dart, but it means that when we are cutting, we are going to separate this one from this one. When we want to sew, we sew. Do you understand? Are you seeing it? That's how it is. So as you can see, we are actually done with the front part. Are you seeing it? So we are actually done with the front part. Look at it. Are you seeing it? So look at it. Are you seeing it? So let's, we are going to really kind of cut it off. Do you understand? We are going to cut it off. Then use it and then cut the back part okay but as we are cutting it off we are not cutting everything off we are just cutting it off just like this do you understand then we use it and drag the back then we can now cut the separate because there's still something else we need to see do you understand okay next thing we are going to do we are going to be pinning it Now, you can mark out your zipper allowance. Do you guys understand? Yeah. So let's mark out the zipper allowance. So let me mark out the two inches zipper allowance. So when you are done marking it out, take the front and place. Are you seeing it?
Okay, so you can see we have cut it off. Are you seeing it? So let's get the back neck. Do you understand? Let's get the back neck. Okay. So in order for us to get the back neck, back neck is usually a higher neck. Are you seeing it? Usually a higher neck. So how many are we going to use for the back neck? Okay. Okay, one to one point five. Do you guys understand? So let's just use one point five. Okay. So what it, it means is that we still need to get our neck. Are you seeing it? And what I did now might be so smooth and straight, but it's just the same thing we did here. Do you understand? Look at it. Look at it. If you draw your neck block like this, are you seeing it? From here also, look at it. One inch. Are you seeing it? It's the same thing that we did before. So don't be confused. I had to mark it. So take this one up to this place. Then use your scissors and then cut it out. Okay. <coughs> So next thing you need to do is to, um, even though this thing does not have a, a dart, hmm, you also need to put a kind of back center that elevates. You understand? Yes, back center. That. So in order for you to do that properly, on that bus, draw a horizontal line like this. Are you seeing it? Then from mm -hmm. here, step in by half or three quarter. Are you seeing it? Then gently connect them like this. Look. Connect them gradually till it fades from here. Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm. Connect this one gradually till it fades. Are you seeing it? Okay. Then use your scissors and they cut it out. Okay. So the next thing we are going to be doing now is how uh, we need to cut it out. Do you understand? We need to separate the sleeve from the body. But before we do that, there's something we need to do. We need to mark out the part which the back part is going to start to Do you understand? Now what do I mean by that? Look, 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 look at what I mean. It is not compulsory that we are the front. Are you seeing it? For how many did we use? 1.5. Are you seeing it? It is not compulsory that it's the same thing to this particular one. Okay. No. Can you see now? If I use the front now, it means that it's going towards this way. That means the back is like this. Are you seeing it? No, that's not it. So for the back, let me show you guys something. For the back, look at it. For the back, we can choose for the back, our back own, to either be one or still 1.5. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Just depends on what you want. Now, let's say at the end of the day, I'm using one. Are you seeing it? Look at it. Look at it. One is on this particular point. Are you seeing it? Okay. I just want you guys to see that it is not the same. So don't just follow your front. Mm -hmm. You follow your front and put scissors and cut it out. The back will give you something else. Do you understand? So you can actually use the same 1.5. Use the same thing at the back. Eh? Or use a lesser at the back. Since back is not that deep. Do you understand? So as you can see, what I use in front here is 1.5. Then at the back, what I use is how many? One. Are you seeing it? Okay. So that actually means that, look, look, let me show you something. Let me, at the back, mark a dot here. Mark a dot here. Have you seen I've marked a dot here? Now look at what I'm going to be doing now. This dot connected to this particular one. Are you seeing it? Okay. This dot connected to this particular one. Now, nothing I still want to let you know about the dot. See, we apply this thing in front. It is not compulsory. You actually apply it at the back. Do you understand? It is not compulsory because the back, there's a back usually used to be. Back even need more of allowance. Do you understand? So it is not that compulsory for you to apply. Even if you apply anything, it will not be exactly as this particular one. Do you understand? But for the sake of this particular dress that I'm making, number one, I want it to be free. Do you understand? Because it's actually a free dress, I'm not going to be tampering the back. Do you guys understand? So now, next thing is now the cutting stage. Do you understand? So let's cut out the front, front first before we cut out the back. Now, there's some, see, you people should look at this thing very well. Wait, let me finish cutting, then I'll show you guys something. Cutting the front. Only the front now. Yes, I'm cutting only the front. I want to show you guys something. Please, you guys should remember that after you are done cutting this thing, when you be tracing it on the material, on this dart, then you are going to be adding the sewing allowance. Do you understand? Cut it off. Are you seeing we have cut it off? You add sewing allowance. Anywhere you are joining, you need okay. to add allowance. Is that not is a clear thing we do in our home? Anywhere, you need to add your sewing allowance. Do you understand? We don't have any particular place. And like now, since you'll be joining here, you need to add your sewing allowance so as to complete it. Now, this particular side now is stretch. 
Are you seeing it? Mm -hmm. So that really means that. Look. These two is going to be used together to cut one four to form what one, one sleeve. Look at, look at it, guys. Look, look. See, hey guys, look at it here. Are you seeing it? It actually become one sleeve. So that means here is the. Look at it. You guys already know the armhole how it usually appears. This side there's an effect here, you see no? there is no effect here, which is the back. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's how it is. That's how it is. Look at it, guys. Are you seeing? So we are going to use it and duplicate on our material, making sure we add um, seam allowance on every part that we're supposed to add seam allowance. Do you understand? Okay. 